What's going on YouTube? GS right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to use the program Altphone iOS System Repair in order to reset your device without knowing the password. So if you no longer know the password or passcode from your lock screen on your device, you can use this program in order to reset it and I'm going to show you exactly how to do so. To get the program you go to altphone.com and it's the Altphone iOS System Repair. Now I'm doing this video on Mac but the program works on Windows as well and it basically looks the same. What I do in this video is basically exactly the same you need to do on Windows if you have a Windows computer. The program supports Windows 11, Windows 10, Windows 8.1, 8 and even 7. And the program itself can do a lot of things. If you open it you can see a lot of features in here including repairing the system if it's broken, if it's no longer booting. For example it's stuck in a boot loop and it doesn't power on anymore. There is also the option to enter and exit recovery mode and you can even downgrade iOS. Now the iOS downgrade feature is actually allowing you to go to a version that that is currently signed. You cannot downgrade to a version that is currently no longer signed. But what we're going to use today is the reset device option. But first let me show you what the device looks like. So I have the device over here and as you can see if I try to go to the home screen it asks for a passcode and unfortunately I don't remember the passcode anymore. So what I'm going to do is to basically reset this device so that I can use it again. But you should keep in mind that if you have find my iPhone or find my iPad and so on turned on you will need the Apple ID and password in order to activate the device. So I'm going to go here to the reset device and there are two options in here. Erase your device completely and return to factory settings which can solve issues like forgot password or crashes, freezes and so on. And then you have the general reset which will help you return the iPhone settings to their defaults resolving network not working, notifications not working and so on. Please do keep in mind that this will erase all data and settings on the device which means that everything you have in there including applications photos and so on will be deleted. You will be able to use the device again but any data that is not backed up will be removed. So I'm gonna go ahead in here and press factory reset and it says iPad mini 4, iPad connected and this works with iOS 15.5, 15.6 which is currently in beta. It even works with basically iOS 15.0, iOS 14, 13, 12, 11 and so on. And if you go here it actually downloads the right firmware for your device automatically. But if you already have the proper firmware you can press in here and import it manually. Now I don't have it so I'm not going to import it, I'm just going to download it from here. So you can see the the actual download process has begun and is downloading 15.5 which is currently the latest version for this device. So yes, if you are jailbroken, you should keep this in mind. This program will update your iOS version. There's no other way around it. So those are three major things to keep in mind. The program will update your version to the latest version available. All data will be removed in the factory reset option. And if you do have find my iPhone or find my iPad and so on turned on, you will need the Apple ID and password before you can use the device again. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna wait for this to complete downloading and I'm gonna be right back once it finishes. So a couple of minutes later it says the firmware package is ready so we can press start reset over here and press reset again. Now at this point everything will be done automatically. The device will reboot and it will start installing the firmware. Everything is okay in here so the device will enter recovery mode and the device will actually reboot a couple of times which is perfectly normal. But yeah the reboots are perfectly normal. Just keep your device connected and wait for the progress bar to complete. Once it completes the program will so I'm gonna be right back once this completes. So as you can see after a couple of minutes, about 10 minutes or so, it says the reset process is completed and we can press done and that's basically it. The device is now rebooting and after a reboot I should be able to actually use the device again. So I prepared the screen capture in here and as you can see this is what's currently going on on the device. So uh, we're going to wait for this progress bar to completely increase and after that the device should boot normally. And yes you're going to see this progress bar twice, once when it's installing the firmware and then after it reboots, after the program says it completed, you're going to see it again which is the step we're currently on right here. So this is basically installing the last moment things so I'm gonna be right back once it completes. Alright so the device has restarted finally and this is it. We're going to be able to reconfigure the device as if it was new. So I'm gonna go through all the settings in here which is going to take a while so I'm gonna be right back once I complete them. Alright so the settings process is actually almost done. I'm gonna select the appearance here and get started and that's it. As you can see my iPad is now working fine and I'm able to basically use it normally. And that's basically it. If I go here on the settings you can see that my device is now running 
running the latest version and it works fine. So I no longer have the passcode in there. So yeah, that's basically how you do it. That's how you factory reset using the alt phone iOS system repair for Mac or Windows. Definitely check the program out in the link below and thank you for watching. Till the next time, peace out.